Tonight, we'll look back at Michael Jordan's return to Broadway. It was last March the 28th, his first trip back to the Garden after his return to the Bulls. And Michael lit up the Knicks for 55 points, 21 of 37 from the field. And then with the game tied in the final second, Jordan found Bill Wennington for the game winner. The 55 points, the most scored by a Knicks opponent since the new Garden opened back in 1968. In recognition of this moment, Miller Genuine Graff will donate $1,000 to the Thurgood Marshall Scholarship Fund. Most 50-point games in the history of the NBA. Wilt Chamberlain with 122, one of those records that may never be caught. Michael Jordan with 34 in second place and counting. The Knicks are up 85-62 with... Two minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. Jordan for three. And kept alive by Kukoc. And Kerr's pass deflected out of bounds. Let's check in with Ahmad Rashad. Ahmad? All right, thanks, Mark. Just like in the first half, Phil Jackson still upset at his team. They're very lethargic, no energy, and says if they're going to have to get back in the game, they have to do it defensively. Mark? And that's one of the reasons that Randy Brown, wearing zero, is on the floor. He is... A very intense defensive play, just trying to see if he can get something going. That's Brown with the ball, guarded by Starks. Shot clock is down to six. Good defensive sequence by the Knicks. Two coach, and Williams with the rebound. So here are the balls with only 62 points. This is the team that leads the NBA in scoring. The Bulls averaging 106 points per game. Ward passing on the three, going for the two, and throwing up an air ball, but Jordan could not hold on. It has been one of those games. Well, this is exactly what Jeff Van Gundy wanted, that defensive energy, the defensive identity, and he has not pulled back, even with the big lead. After free throws, he wants his players to get up and guard tight. Mason with the rebound. They got the new 24. The worst defeat suffered by the Bulls this season was a 10-point margin. They lost to Phoenix in early February, 106 to 96. They are trailing here by 23. Ward for three. Yes. The Knicks, 88. The Bulls, 62. A 34 to 6 run by the Knicks. An extraordinary turn after the Bulls appear to have it going. You know, Kerr from way downtown. And Mason with the rebound. Kerr on the steal. Brown for Kukoc. Quick release jumper, Tony Kuko. With only his first field goal, he missed. His first five shots, Knicks 88, the ball 64. Randy Brown in there to put that backcourt pressure, did on Charlie Ward, made him pick up his dribble and give the ball up. That's the only way the Bulls have a chance of getting back into this ballgame. Herb Williams. we are told that uh, Willie Anderson suffered a hyper-extended right elbow, but he may return. And a foul is called. And it's called on Caffey as Willie Anderson. And Patrick Ewing checking back in. Derek Williams, Anthony Mason sitting down. Derek Harper is back. Seven and a half remaining in the fourth. Starts. But you know, Jeff Van Gundy is just delighted what he has seen from John Starks here tonight. He's taking it to the basket. Brown hit on a reach-in. Foul committed by Starks. That is his fourth. And even with the 24-point lead, Jeff Gundy coming back into the game with Patrick Ewing and with Derek Harper, I think he's trying to show his team, hey, we are going to find out who our finishers are. And I really don't care about the score. There's still plenty of time uh, left in this ballgame. I want you guys to know who's going to be in the ballgame in the fourth quarter. Jeff Bushler has checked in for the first time.
Jordan with the spin. Setting up Caffey. Offensive foul. Caffey called for the push. And a timeout taken. 6.57 remaining in the fourth. 